So the next thing you know, we got the spreadable edible in here. What's going on everybody? My name's Craig, AKA Lickin' Clouds, but a lot of people just call me Flip. Today's nickname was brought to you by Whitney Up in the Ears. She's like getting to that Kill McPherson level on some real shit. Like she all over the place around here. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking a little bit about infusers. I just got my first infuser. Uh, the homies over at Ong Rock sent me over their fucking big one. It, can fit like one to five cups worth of shit. We fucked around and made our own butter and it was super fucking easy. They send like everything you fucking need basically, including like two different filter bags, one that's like a little bit bigger at the bottom for your butters, one that's a little smaller for like more like oils and stuff. Like here's the bag that we use for the butter. It's like got kind of like a thicker mesh on the bottom. And this is the one you use for like tinctures and different oils and stuff. It's got like a much finer filter at the bottom. They also send you a really nice pair of like silicone gloves slash like oven mitts because you know, silicone has like a super high melting temperature. So these shouldn't melt unless you're doing shit that's like over 700 fucking degrees. You should be fine. And this doesn't go up that high. I think it only goes up to like 220. Has a bunch of different modes up on the top. You can do uh, like an hour for oils, two hours for butter, four hours for tinctures. It has an eight hour setting. It has like a self cleaning mode and everything. Like the shit is fucking dope. They also send you this really nice butter mold for when you're making your butters. And it even has like lines on the bottom that will go into your shit. So you can see exactly like how far you're cutting it down when you're like using it for recipes and shit. They also send you, ooh, where is it? Where, I gotta get it out from under there. Motherfucker, the struggle is real. They also send you like a full user's manual that teaches you how to like make anything you want to make, including like alcohol tinctures, butters, lotions, like anything you want, and a little infused cookbook. So like, you know, a couple like basic recipes to like get you started, see what you can like mess around with. But like, I mean, everything was like really, really simple. And this one down at the bottom, Danny thought it was gonna be like some sort of drink or something, it's not, it's, it's a lotion, but you can make like your own like lotions and massage oils and uh, food, obviously. Apparently she thought it was pudding, fucking weirdo. But like I have made my own butter before, but this made the process like super, super fucking simple. Like all I had to do was like decarb my nugs, which like they explain how to do in the, in the books and stuff. So all you gotta do is take them, you throw them on like a baking sheet, cover that shit with tin foil, stick it in the middle rack of your oven for like, on like 225 to 240, depending on like how much flavor you want out of the nugs. And you just let it sit there for like, what was it? 35 minutes or something like that? Like 35 to 40 minutes. So like we put that in the oven, we waited, timer went off, grabbed them out, threw that into here with two sticks of softened butter hit the two hour mark on the top and literally it just did its thing. Like two hours later, it started beeping. I poured it into this mold and next thing you know, we got the spreadable edible in here. Fucking great, man. It's fucking awesome. And this shit really did come out good. We even used like one of the old butter containers on this side to see if I could just like kind of pull it out. You know what? I'm just gonna try to pull it out now. Fuck it. Let's see. There it goes. Look at that. It's so perfect. We literally put our own little butter thing together. This shit is fucking dope. It has the lines in it and everything. Can you see that? That is fucking fly. We just gotta, just gotta pack it down. All right, so I didn't make it like as big as a normal stick of butter apparently, but I think it still looks good. Like it looks fucking legit. It looks like actual butter. Like it's, put that shit in the fridge and don't even fucking know. I can't, I'm gonna use this shit like on everything. And I'm gonna use this forever. I'm gonna keep like making tinctures and stuff. And like the capacity of this thing is huge. If it's anywhere from one to five cups, so you can do a smaller batch if you want a smaller batch, you need a gigantic batch if you wanna do a big batch. You can fit like tons of stuff in here for real. All right, so there are like a few like little tidbits that he wanted me to make sure I hit when I was telling you guys about this. So first of all, it has overspill and boil and dry technology sensors in here. So your shit will never like overheat or anything like that. It's got a lab grade temp control system and it's ETL certified by something or other. It's ETL certified to North American safety standards. I don't know what the ETL is, but it sounds fucking dope. There's also like a smaller version of this one to make like smaller batches. I'm not sure like how much smaller cause I don't own it, 
but it is like i think like maybe like three quarters of the size of this one and to be honest like this thing is like pretty sleek even the big version like you can just slip this in a corner somewhere and not have any problems it won't be in your way or anything I actually just notice so this one's like a one cup to five cup and the other the smaller version is a two-thirds of a cup to two and a half cup so it's like you know it basically about half the size, like I said. Even though I, I think I said three quarters of the size, but I think it's about half the size. You can make two thirds of a cup, like a small batch, up to two and a half cups, a little bit smaller than this one. And the small compact version make it much easier to like cook for just like a few people. But like, I mean, something big like this, you can cook like for your whole family if they came over, especially you got like me, I got a big Italian family. So like I can all fucked up. And there's even like a couple like accessories you can get to go with this stuff. Like um, there's this stuff called Let Letterithinson. Letter let letithin. <laughs> I don't I don't know how to pronounce it. It's lek lekithin lekithin or lecithin. I don't know lekithin. So it's like this powder that kind of like helps bind the butter together. Honestly, we didn't have any, so I just kind of like hope and prayed and did it anyway, and it all came out perfectly fine. But I also did uh, order some lekithin off of amazon so that should be here soon and that means i can just make even better butter like because it'll like it just it's a binding agent that helps it bind together uh these guys also sell like gummy molds so if you want to make your own gummies you can buy their gummy molds and they're all like fda certified and everything like that and you can even get like decarb bags so like you don't have to use like an oven tray and rack you can just like throw your nugs into a fucking oven bag throw them in there, well, a decarb bag, throw them in the oven, set the oven temp and you're good to go. But also, I mean, you can do other things besides that in here. I mean, this could be like really for any kind of like herbs or anything you want to infuse with like butter or oils or anything. You know what I mean? It can be whatever, man. You can make like lavender oils and stuff like that too. Like literally anything. You could use this thing to do it with. Also, not gonna lie, check the price range on this much better price range than some of the other companies I've seen, like Magical Butter and stuff like that. This thing only runs about like 130 on Amazon for the big boy. Like that's insane. I think 149 if you want to get like a few extras and shit too. I just realized I never actually showed you guys like what it looks like on the inside. So the top has like this nice big blade for grinding up the nugs and stuff you put in there. And like this part just goes in there and this part connects to that part. And inside here is just a big thing. And it's got like a little pour thing at the side. So you can pour out all your stuff. That's what the inside looks like. I don't know why I forgot to show you guys that, but it's pretty cool, man. Uh, I really like this thing. I'm gonna go make some food with this real quick. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all this shit normal YouTubers tell you to do at the end of their videos. I'll see y'all next time. Peace. On bop bick a bop bop do wop shibby down bop do wop a bop 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 on right yeah yeah what have you taken a few marijuana a few marijuana